the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 234 2 Chronicles 8-9 Construction and Reconstruction Solomon, who received wisdom from God as a gift and inherited a strong country from his father, left many accomplishments by inheriting the faith and system of the former generation. First point, Chronicles cast light on Solomon's amazing architectural vision for the city. Chronicles shows how Solomon was amazing at designing the city and also how he was good at managing the country. In the ancient days, a ruler was able to reveal his abilities through the construction of the city and the expansion of infrastructure. Solomon was able to do this well. In terms of architectural achievements, Solomon built both the temple and his palace. Solomon also made walls and towns for the people of Israel. Solomon also put forth the lands he had given to King Hiram, which Hiram returned towards the living places for the people and also built saved areas in the case of wars. We can see that Solomon did his best to obey the laws in the kingdom of priests regarding the law about not making the people into his slaves. Second point, Chronicles records Solomon to have been a king like David in the kingdom of priests. Solomon did as his father David told him and made sure that all the festivals in the kingdom of priests were implemented and kept. It shows that he put effort into making sure his kingdom was one which centered on a kingdom of priests. Solomon also made a great deal of achievements through international trade. Chronicles records that although Solomon brought the princess of Egypt as his wife, she was not made to live in the palace near the ark. This was because Pharaoh's daughter was a foreigner. Therefore, Solomon had a separate palace built for her. Little did he know then that this would open the way to turning away from God. Third point, Solomon's wisdom made the queen of Sheba praise God. Solomon took after his father David and his reputation spread all throughout the land and to the surrounding countries. The queen of Sheba came to visit Solomon after hearing his reputation. She wanted to find out whether the rumors about him were true. This was what was said later about this during the time of Jeremiah. What do I care about incense from Sheba or a sweet calamus from a distant land? Your burnt offerings are not acceptable. Your sacrifices do not please me. What this shows is that Solomon continued his trade with Sheba. The queen of Sheba could not hide her shock after listening to Solomon's wisdom. She was most impressed by his wisdom, palace, food, servants, and the temple. She praised God after meeting Solomon. She also gave him enormous gifts. Solomon also presented her with gifts in return. First point, Solomon led Israel to its most abundant times. Chronicles records the taxes collected during Solomon's times as well as a record of his wealth. The Bible records that during Solomon's time, the shields used by the soldiers were 200 large ones in gold, 300 small ones in gold, as well as all other sorts of lavish goods. Also, during this time, nobles and royals visited Jerusalem constantly. 
Solomon also enjoyed incredible national power. Fifth point, Chronicles records Solomon's wisdom and wealth and then goes straight unto his death. Solomon took after his father and was one of the finest kings of Israel. Now it was time to go in the way of all mortals. The Book of Kings records Solomon's wealth and fame, his international marriages, his idol worship, and then the names of those who opposed him. However, Chronicles records Solomon's wealth and fame and then goes straight unto his death. This was with the purpose of showing the returned captives the best side of David and Solomon. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth that God enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life 365 days a year I'm so glad you have it you will feel the healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the spirit on you as you use this app 